Is this campus? This guy. You can go that way. What's that? Oh, we have a half hour. We have a half hour. Let's take a nice, like, leisurely stroll. It's that yeah. way. So here oh, we yeah. are at Stanford oh, yeah. Museum. And this one is. Uh, oh, sorry. Thank you. Oh, we can go to the two. We'll go to the two. So this one is the gates of hell. The other day, one friend said, maybe we should take a look coming here. I come here um, very often because it's. Uh, on my way coming back to from work and uh, I came here to do some drawing and to do body drawing because uh, the muscle the men's muscle and uh, the, the woman's muscle and uh, just so 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 expressive and Hodan is uh, is is just the greatest sculptor and uh, the, it's very different from the Italian style if you have been to Uffizi, Fianzi if you have been to Uffizi you went to different uh, um, see different sculpture you see the the difference in it and in Rodin's um, Rodin's uh, sculpture is full of passion, full of joy, full of anger, and you just feel that uh, he is the man that living his life to the fullest. He experience or he experience his life with full emotion and. Um, and uh, just delve into the very deep of uh, human nature, human character, the desire, the anger, the fight. It's, um, it's just uh, so expressive. When you, if you want to do some drawing, some figure drawing, come here and, uh, and see the sculpture of Rodin it exaggerate it's not actually exaggerate it looks like exaggerating but uh, but uh, it it uh, it magnifies the strength of human body it uh, just pull put everything on full display such a wonderful wonderful piece of work so this one is the gates of hell. I remember I have uh, seen it in in um, in Paris, and uh, I have loved these awesome doors since the winter. The gates of hell. Winter day in 1949 when I first stood below them outside the Rodin Museum in Philadelphia and was terrified at the prospect of writing my dissertation on the gates of hell. In one way or another I have lived with them for 35 years and yet when it comes to lecturing or writing about its great portal there are still exhilarating things to discover accompanied by inevitable dismay over the inadequacy of one's own language and culture to share revelations. I have seen the doors in museums and foundries, in plaster and wax, in negative molds and raw bronze sections and they never they never fail to impress look at them in the rain or when a winter sun is low they take a uh, different quality light them at night from below the way Rodan must have done in his studio a thousand times 
and you realize you don't know them as a work of art. No other single work of sculpture known to me can so attach itself to a person for life, making constant claim on intelligence, intuition, and feeling, and yet remain so fresh, changing as one changes, rewarding age and experience. You don't outgrow the gates, you grow into them. So, I have never thought about it in such a way and I have uh, I was every time coming here and I felt I am at loss and I could not connect I could not connect myself so much into it but uh, if you if you put away the fear and uh, just standing here so often time we see art, we feel it is different or we feel the distance between ourselves and the artwork. How about you get away and push away that fear and uh, just imagine that this, this gate is for you, is right in front of you for you to walk in and walk through because art is that when you see the artist most artists they are just passionate and very humble human being and they struggle and they 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 fight they struggle they 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 suffer and uh, for the aim of, uh, of finding the universal truth or to find truth or find something of their own expression, don't be afraid of art. It is here for you, the gate of hell. We all go through it from our birth. I do not know the story about this particular piece of work, but I was just uh, let my imagination, let my thoughts run from coming to this earth, babies still attached to mom and start to climb up and climb, climb until they become adult and they make their own kids, their own new generation and they start to sink to bones until they go to the top of it. And there was the bouncer, right? Bouncer, the sinker. And uh, they fight and through all these difficulties and all these tortures until until oh there is love there are so much emotions in this painting the love of uh, of men and women and uh, the sacrifice and the struggle so many things I do not understand I do not understand the language but you definitely what you can see is the struggle I remember I have seen in Roden Museum all these little sculptures and um, and the study for each of these individual pieces and, uh, different action, different fight, different struggle. Art is for us to appreciate, is for us to look, to enjoy, and see the 
it's so expressive all this body just imagine the model who made these these gestures these poses the three brothers the three shades I did come sometime on sunset and when there is when it is time of sunset this place usually usually does not have anybody here and it was a, a quiet a solemn and sacred place maybe I will come in the evening again and uh, do some uh, reading about this uh, this gaze of uh, hell and, uh, but uh, no matter how I understand it how, the, how limited my knowledge about it it's a very impressive and uh, powerful piece of art and uh, before I know before I learn about it I have more freedom to think it in my own way that's the good thing about uh, seeing art sometimes you see art and um, and you see the explanation it helps you to understand but on the other hand it kind of uh, uh, block your imagination or your your thinking is guided how about just looking at a piece of work and use your own brain use your own imagination use your own logic to see and to critic and to evaluate i feel the artist the original meaning of those art is for us is to bring us to think not bring us to explain not not to ex explain something they are trying to present something and let us explain and let us to think go to museum just look at it and uh, and think yourself do not be guided by others be an independent thinker do you hear me <laughs> i'm sorry i do not know if this uh, sound is uh, is okay or not but uh, i enjoy a morning like this i think i will do more i think i will come here more often it's it's very inspiring no matter making video or not at least looking at uh, beautiful things looking at nature and looking at uh, uh, human effort in trying to make the world into the place to, to make the place into something that please us that make us think is uh, a very 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 it's a very very nice place a powerful place for for thought provoking <laughs>